This is a time-lapse sequence of a thousand shots taken with the Nikon D600. With the launch of the D610 and the discontinuation of the D600, the price on used and refurbished D600s has dropped significantly, and it seems like people are wondering if they should go with a super cheap D600 or pick up the brand new and dust-free D610. Is the oil spots issue something that goes away with time, or is it a permanent design flaw that just keeps on coming back? That's what this video will attempt to answer. Well, I'm surprised to see that my camera is only at 13,000 shutter actuations after a whole year. And while there's a bit of dust around the corners, it's just dust that I can blow with a rocket blower. Uh, it's nothing serious. I don't see any oil spots, and the oil is the real problem. After a thousand shots, some dust might have moved around a bit, but the last shot looks pretty much the same as the first shot. It certainly isn't the rapid dust accumulation that we saw in the first video. One way to quickly find any new marks is to take the first and last image from the time-lapse sequence and place one on top of the other and use the difference compositing mode. Now we are looking at a mostly blank screen and any new dust spots or anything, anything that's different will show up as a bright white space. I don't see any dots, so no new dust. I'd say the problem has worked itself out for my camera, but I can't speak for everyone, so to all my fellow D600 havers, um, what's your experience? Uh, please post any of your experiences in the comments below. Here are the previous videos in the D600 Dust series, and here are some other D600 related videos, and here's the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Uh, the, the video's over. I'm, I'm just giving you some time to click something. Okay, goodbye.